All right, little heads, what are we gonna draw today? Owlette. Yeah, we're drawing Owlette from PJ Masks. Okay, little girl, you got your marker? Yes. All right, we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. And if we go too fast, what can they do? Pause the video. Yes, you guys can always pause the video. Got your marker ready? Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, now we're gonna simplify Owlette a little bit just to make her a little easier to draw. Okay. Okay. First step, we're gonna draw her face, and we're gonna draw a little U shape right in the middle of our paper. Okay, so we're gonna come down like this, and we're gonna come back up. So it's a pretty good U shape because her their heads are pretty big <laughs> in the cartoon. And this is a show from Disney Junior, right? Yeah. Yeah. So here, here we go. We're gonna I'll put two dots like this, and that's how big, how wide we're gonna make her face, and we're gonna do a little U to connect those two. Good, down, around, and then back up. Oh, it's even bigger. I like it. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw her little, the little bumps that go on the side of her, of her ears, okay? So we're gonna draw three bumps. So three bumps that come up this way, and three bumps that come up over here. Looks like she's gonna have big hair, huh? <laughs> so let's draw three bumps to there, and we'll draw three bumps up to here. Good. Ooh, big ones. I like them. Okay, good job. Now we're gonna draw, we're gonna put a point down here where we started our little bumps. So I'm gonna put a point right in the middle and we're, this is where we're gonna draw her the top of her mask. So it's gonna come down, up, and then back in. You see that? That is called an S line. So we're gonna draw a little point right there and we'll go down and then up and then in. So come down like that. Down. Up a little and then into the point. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on the side. Like that. Does that look like her mask? Mm hmm Good. And we'll do the same thing. So we'll come down and then up a little and then into that point. Down. Perfect. Now we're gonna draw the top of her head. So we're gonna imagine the top of her head coming through her little owl mask and curving over to the other side. There we go. So we're gonna start right there. And we'll curve over to here and just make a little rainbow line. Okay. Good job, that's awesome. Okay, let's do a couple more details on her mask. So I'm just gonna draw a line, another line that comes right here next to the first line, the first S line, and another one on this side. There we go. You can draw another line just right next to it. Perfect. And then another one on the other side. Okay, now let's draw her face. So we're gonna come down and we wanna go halfway in between this point and her chin. So I'm gonna put a little point right there and that's where we're gonna start her nose, her nose, okay? Nice. Her noise, <laughs> her nose. <laughs> So we're gonna draw a circle that comes around and connects to that. So we're gonna come around this, over, and then back down. So we can start right here and make an oval that comes around like that, over to this point. Okay. And that's gonna be the opening for her mask. That's perfect, you did such a good job. And I like how you're concentrating. <laughs> okay, now let's draw her little nose right here at the bottom, sticking out of the mask. Yep. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, now let's draw her eyes. And we're gonna draw two dots. We're gonna draw a little dot right here and a little dot over here. Okay, we gotta start small because we're gonna draw we're gonna draw her pupils and they're gonna get pretty big. Good. And I like how high you drew yours. Good. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw a circle that goes around that pupil. And this is for her the color in her eyes. And we're gonna color those at the end. Okay, here we go. Mine look a little funny, but that's okay. We're practicing, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now let's draw her the big part of her eye. So we're gonna start right here. And we'll draw a big curve that goes over her eye on this side and one that goes over her eye on this side. Good. 
job. Good. Okay, let's make that, let's have those come out a little further so there's more white in her eyes. She looks kind of angry, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we'll fix it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And then one on the other side. Good job. Okay, now we're going to come back down and draw the bottom of her eyes on both sides. Look at that. Now it looks more like her, huh? So then we come down like this and then connect in. It makes kind of a football shape. Good. Awesome. Okay, now she has eyelashes. So let's do a little line that pops out on both sides like that. Yep. And then we're going to connect the top of that line back in and we can fill that in. See how that made like a little dark part on the top of her eye, it looks like an eyelash. Mm -hmm. Eyelashes, there we go, and we'll do the same on this side. Good, all right, what's she missing? Um, her mouth. Yeah, she's missing her mouth. So we're gonna draw a little, little oval right here. Looks like she's gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> little peanut shape or a bean. <laughs> mm. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a little rainbow line inside and I'm going to color in the top part. There we go. So it looks like you can see her tongue. Good. Awesome, good job. We did her head. Now, you ready for her body? Yes. Okay, we're gonna keep it simple. So we're gonna come down and we're gonna make a U shape for her body. Like that, so we come down like this, make her little body. There you go. Good, okay, now let's draw, let's draw her wing that's gonna come out to the side over here. So we're gonna draw really pretty far out and we'll draw another line that comes out pretty far out this way too. Okay, we draw, that's gonna be her wings. She's awesome, huh? So I'll give you a point. Is it gonna come out to here? And maybe another one that comes out to this side. <laughs> Good, and then one on the other side. All right, and now we're gonna draw her hands and her arms. So we'll just draw a little U that's right here, okay, on both sides. Good, now that's gonna be her hand holding onto her wings. And then let's draw her arm, and it's gonna be another line like that, and comes down. So it goes right next to her wing. We'll do the same thing on this side. Good. One on the other side. And that's a really simple way to draw her hands and her arms. Okay, now let's draw her legs and then we'll finish her wings. So right here, we're gonna draw one leg first and it's gonna be bent. So we're gonna draw a V shape. So we'll start right here, come down and back up. And that's her little part of her leg. And back up, good. And then let's draw another line coming down to her knee. So we'll draw a line right there, coming down to the back of her knee. Good, and then we'll draw another line, just a little one that comes out right here. And then let's draw our foot, and it's gonna come around, it's like an oval shape, like that. <laughs> so we'll start right there, come around, make an oval, and connect back into her leg. Yeah, you did it. That's awesome. We drew our first leg. Okay, now let's draw our next leg. And it's going to draw, we're going to draw a line that comes down and connects to her knee. Connects to her knee. Yeah, and then we'll draw uh, just a little line past her knee. <laughs> Are you copying me? <laughs> and then let's draw the other side of her leg. So draw another line from there to there. Okay, and then we're gonna draw another foot that looks just like this one. So we're gonna curve around and we're gonna curve back up. It's a little tricky, but look, that looks like our foot, huh? Mm -hmm. There we go, so we'll start right there. Draw an oval that goes around, comes around to the other side. Okay. <laughs> Good job, I love it. Now we need to draw her wings and this is the this is my favorite part. So we're gonna draw a 
zigzag line that goes down to her foot, okay? okay. So we're gonna draw line like that. We can do, you know what, let's draw both sides at the same time, since they're kind of symmetrical. So that's the first feather on her pajamas. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw, and then we're gonna do another V. So look at this, another V on its side. And I'm gonna draw another V over here too, on its side. So go out and then back in. Yeah, good job. And then one on this side. And you want to kind of make them look the same on both sides. So one that comes out over here and back in. Okay. Awesome. Okay, let's draw one more big V. There we go. Boop. And another one on this side. Boop. <laughs> so we draw right here. Right there. Good. And then one on the other side. Do you want some points for this one? Yeah. Okay. A little point and then a point. Good. And back up. Good job. And then we're going to draw one more on this side to connect her into her body. There we go. So we're connected in. And then you can draw right here and connect into her legs. Good, and then we'll draw one last little line on this side. <laughs> we did it. Okay, now there's a little design on her wings, okay? So we're gonna do curves. We're gonna do rainbow lines that connect in between the Vs. So watch this, do a rainbow line. You see that? Mm -hmm. It'll connect it. Another, this could be a U shape. Connect it. And we're gonna go through and do the rest. Okay, now let's draw the design inside of her wings. And this is a little tricky, but we can just do the best we can, okay? So okay. we're gonna do a little, a little line like this, and it's gonna be like another feather inside. So I did a little V shape. Yes, and then another one coming off from there to there. Good, now I'm gonna draw another V that's gonna connect. We're gonna start up here, connect down to that point, back up so we can start right here come down to that point and then back up good and back up and we'll draw another V inside like that so we can start right here and connect down to this one and then connect to her body good and I'm gonna do one more that comes down just right here so come right to there and then connect to her leg, her foot. Good, now we're gonna do those same designs on this side over here. So we'll draw a little V, connects to that point. So right here, point, and back out. Good, and then we'll do another V to connect to that one. So we can connect here, here, and back up. Good, and then one more. So right here, so I would cross over, and then there, and then to her body. Awesome, we did it! Now, she has a pattern on her chest. Should we draw that too? Yes. Okay, it's a little pattern of an owl. So we're gonna draw the two circles for the owl eyes, okay? And then we're going to draw a curve that goes over the top. A rainbow line. And then we'll connect on both sides. There we go. And then we're going to draw another V. Like that. Underneath. And that's for the belly of her owl. Good, and then we'll draw one more little V underneath that. 
Awesome, we did it. And we tried to keep it super simple so it was easy to follow along for young artists. Yes. But we need to color her, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pick out our colors and we'll come right back. Yeah. Okay, heads, all we need for this project are three colors, a dark pink, a light pink, and then a peach color. You ready to start? Yes. All right, let's fast forward, right? Nail. Nail. Heads, we did it! And we went back over it with our marker to darken some of the lines after we covered them up with the oil pastels. Mm -hmm. She turned out awesome. Did you have fun? Yeah! Good! You did a great job, Heads. Thanks. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing Alette with us. Remember, the most important thing is... To have fun! Yes, to have fun. Don't worry if your drawings don't look perfect because you can always practice. And if we went too fast, you can always pause the video too, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye! Oh, are you Owlette? It's not nighttime yet. <laughs>